Welcome to episode 4 of Ready Steady Build. If you're still planning on partaking in the challenge yourself, I'm afraid you're far too late. That ship has well and truly sailed. I mean, you can still do the challenge, but anything uploaded to the workshop after the 27th doesn't have a chance of being featured. Soz. This week's guest is the incredible Minnie Heather. Named as such because her name is Heather, and she has an adorable little cat called Minnie, who loves to steal the spotlight on stream. Heather doesn't just stream Planet Coaster. Oh no, she also has some sick dance moves that she just loves to show off whenever the mood takes her. Hello, Minnie Heather. Hi, you Moomin. Can I call you Heather? Of course you can. <laughs> okay, wonderful. <laughs> um, so, well, how are you, firstly? Yeah, I am good. Um, I've had a long day, but I'm just sitting down and just chilling out and... I've got nothing else better to do than watch myself stress out <laughs> over a very simple build. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what more do you want at the end of a long day than watching yourself and being recorded for an interview? I get to hang out with you. That's the dream. That's oh, the dream. I'm very happy. Stop it. You make me blush. <laughs> um, so, the challenge. Uh, did you did you have any ideas? Obviously, you knew about it before going into it. Um, did you have any ideas before you started? Um, I... I I always want to like build something fun. I feel like that's my motivation behind anything I do end up building. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I I've always I've I have definitely seen people building tree houses on other people's streams, um, yeah. but I hadn't ever had a crack at it before. So for me, I was like, I, I need a simple build, but I quite want it to be like a bit of like not like a I guess a. Not a, not a masterpiece, but uh, as you you described it as like a centerpiece kind of uh, yeah. challenge build yeah. as well. So I was kind of like, well, I could do kind of like, you know, this really nice little free house and it could be really full of detail and, you know, um, very like, um, uh, you know, family Robinsons esque. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I kind of had a small idea, but nothing, no sketches, nothing set in stone, just, you know, wanting to make something fun. Absolutely. I think you are actually the only person that did what you would, would class as a centerpiece, I think. Um, everyone else either did a facility oh, really? or a shop or a ah. building. Um, so it was actually really refreshing to see someone do that. Or uh, what oh, they, nice. is it a weenie, do they call that in the industry? I think it's called. <laughs> yes, in the industry in that the I industry. know very well. Darling. Yes. Oh, it's cool. a weenie, yes, of course. <laughs> no, it's really nice. And it's I, I love the, the, the natural vibes that you went with. Yeah, completely different. I, I mean, it was a it was a really interesting palette that you laid out. I think mm. it was a real challenge to be able to like mesh all the textures together. That was one of my, like my next questions: is how 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 did you cope with the limited one hundred pieces? Oh, hoo -hoo. Um, I mean, oh my goodness, it, I kind of get fixated with pieces like very quickly. So like, it was I, I kind of if I was looking at all the pieces again. I would, and, and I said to myself, hey, I'll build another treehouse. I would build it in an entirely different way because mm -hmm. I think like I would look at textures in different ways. I would look at um, lighting in different ways or even the tree, the tree choices in different ways. But like yeah. this was a real good kind of like um, overview of what there is in the game. And I thought it was really varied um, mm -hmm. and the textures were nice enough. They was like, yeah, I was able to get stuck in really quickly and there was enough functionality in there to like really start thinking about the complexity of what the centerpiece could be yeah. in the in a very rushed way <laughs> but yeah. um like the details could so easily be there you know just time depending and skill depending <laughs> <laughs> well i was gonna say like that it's uh, we all know famously creating a circle in planet coaster is one of the hardest things to do um <laughs> but I, I think by the end of it when you you, you smooth off all the edges it works really nicely um, so you achieved oh, that well, very well. Thank you, my goodness. <laughs> that is high praise. But you went in like <laughs> ambitiously and I like that. Oh, well, you know, I, I I feel like a lot of the projects I do end up doing, I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I will mm -hmm. say. So like, I bet, like, oh my gosh, could you imagine like somebody watching this in a few years time? I'll still be working on my Shira park in a few <laughs> years time. Like, come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been the same park since I've started watching you. And that's been oh, yeah. at least, I think, four or five months now. Yes. Uh, but I <laughs> so think that's good I, though. Like, you, I, I, I very much just like taking one thing and mm. working for ages on it. And if I'm doing a park, I'll do one section of that park at a time until I'm happy with it and then I'll move on. Yeah. I think that's I get you. how a lot of people work. So s sidestepping away from the challenge, uh, tell us about your, how did you come into streaming? 
Oh my gosh, that's a lovely question. Um, I came into streaming because I, I'm a bit quiet when it comes to kind of like on online platforms. Mm. I it, it, I have a real trouble like because uh, I'm I'm very I'm very dyslexic and I often think that you know like walking online can be really scary and very yeah. intimidating because sure. anybody can critique you and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I I when I found Twitch and you know it was gradual, it was very gradual to start with. Like I it was just like watching popping in and out until then like I really stumbled across like an actual like streamer that I that I really vibed with mm -hmm. um, and and you know vibed vibed well with what I was saying in chat and so it was just a, like a really nice progression obviously with the good nice yes, rep the good course. nice shout out to the good nice do you want to just give a, a brief um, overview of what the good nice is for sure it is just a little corner of like the planet coaster community that kind of started on uh, Henry's channel Cockwaddle's channel. That, mm -hmm. you Who know, is, kind uh, of... next week's episode as well. Oh, that's so cool. Well, you know, the beginnings of the good nice, it will all come out in, in his video. Um, so mm -hmm. he was just, you know, such a welcoming and, and like observant streamer as mm -hmm. well. That, like, you know, someone pops in chat, even, you know, he, I think it was only a couple, maybe he had like a hundred. I don't know followers to, for me at that stage he felt like a massive deal i was like oh my god <laughs> he was and he was talking to me and i was like wow yeah. he's a he's a celebrity and <laughs> then, well there's that certain you know vibe that you get with with twitch streamers that is like you you really admire them if you watch and you know take part in their chat you do admire them for, for a you know at least a good while yeah before then someone may ask do you stream and you know are mm -hmm. you thinking about streaming what games would you stream and then suddenly it's like you think about how feasibly you you could yeah. you could stream and i think it was just to me i think it was only a matter of time for me anyway maybe because i love i i love technology yeah. uh it's very much in my in my bones in my blood that mm. i just i love gaming and i'm fascinated by how technology works um especially through like cameras and stuff like that so well, i was gonna say it shows I, through your your stream you've got obviously a great camera you've got a great mic but you've also got some great little hot keys that you use quite frequently that are <laughs> <laughs> very entertaining oh thank you i do love the uh I, i'm i'm slow off the bat sometimes so i have my um my big brain mm -hmm. uh it's like in uh process information at a slower <laughs> rate but then everyone knows i'm processing the information and then my by wife my my iconic by wife energy <laughs> of course of course no, that's really nice. And uh, so do you just stream at Planet Coaster or do you stream anything else? I do stream other things. Um, I, I, my favourite things to stream are stuff that has a story, mm -hmm. stuff that is um, often like maybe puzzle based, but it's, it's innately like creative and there's a survival element and there's a build element. So I really love the forest. Ooh, um, yes. That's one of my favourites, yeah, um, and I'm kind of thinking about branching out and doing some North Connect, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but then I used to love playing Ark. I haven't streamed that uh, yet, by you know, just kind of my games. Yeah. But then um, I really love Stardew Valley, which is you know mm -hmm. the classic mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> queer yeah. lady streamer. Of course, she <laughs> plays. She plays. Uh, <laughs> she plays uh, Stardew. So yeah. No, they're they're all great games. Yeah back to your your build uh do you want to dusting, talk through me the... <laughs> sorry i just saw the dusting dusting uh do, doing the biddies i was like that was a it, oh, it's, yeah. it's such a good community it's so sweet it is completely uh, um when i was doing uh spag bowls uh interview the other day uh he's got so many different <laughs> yeah. things going on with his stream because uh, he lets people like spin him round and set him on fire and oh, really? all yeah. of these things happening oh, so it, it's a bit mental when you time lapse all of that stuff together <laughs> what was i saying oh yes your build uh yes your process how how mm. did you work through this build how did it come together um i think in the same way that i i approach a lot of things i kind of have this like image or this vision in my brain and then i just Kind of like chip away at it and i try and make it real try and figure it out like if something works it doesn't work like the vision may evolve the vision may change but like ultimately i kind of know like it's weird i know my parameters i know what i want to do but like it's so fluid what yeah. you know what that end goal is um i just know i want to always make it good and you know a beautiful fun <laughs> mm -hmm. um 
So it was just a matter of figuring it out, really, and making all the, I guess, the pieces fit together. When I was picking the items, I, I, at that point, I wasn't going to do the challenge myself, so I wasn't picking anything that I necessarily use. And then when it came to it, I was like, oh my god, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> How can you build with this stuff? But um, at the same time, equally, there were so many things that I've never used before. You, you learn such nice little things and you go, oh, great, well, that works. I can use that again in X build later on. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, a great way to just uh, yeah learn new things. So you don't, don't end up doing the same thing again and again. I see. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I think you learn so much from like watching. I mean, I, oh, my gosh, I, I watch so much from watching everybody else on Planko mm -hmm. because like, oh, my gosh, people can do amazing build mm -hmm. buildings and, you know, yes, facilities and stuff like that. It's so cool to see everybody else's tricks. Yeah. I think I learned a great one from Poet, which is like that. Um, the lights, like the the triggers, the trigger control. Yep. And I remember asking her. I was like, "Could I, could I try that?" She was like, "Yes, of course." <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, completely. Uh, I, I well, I say con continuously that I steal stuff all the time. People are always asking me, "Oh, can you give me like tips and tricks of like how to build this, how to build this?" Literally, just just watch other people. It yeah. doesn't matter who it is. They don't need to be like a famous YouTuber or a famous streamer. Anybody just watch them build because people just pick up little habits and that they stick mm. to and then you can take them and uh, well that's part of what's great about the, the community and and the good nights of course yeah that it's the vibe that yes. you know it's just about fun and learning and playing one of our favorite games absolutely and, it's uh yeah. it's we're basically just playing with model trains aren't we at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anyone we're <laughs> no it's hard don't to tell secret. anyone that. <laughs> <laughs> we're no. way cooler than that yeah, we're way, yeah, we we cool guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no. How was the, the the time constraint side of things for you? Um, it was. I mean, I I always go with such ambition into stuff. <laughs> I always have such. I'm always like, I'm gonna do this, gonna do that, gonna. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. And like, I I I probably got about. If if like I if I could say like the percentage of how final I, my my vision was completed, mm. I would probably say like uh, no, nah, I'd probably okay, I'd probably give myself a bit more courage than that. I'd probably say about sixty to seventy percent complete. Okay, like yeah. there is there's I I think like I I, I took quite a lot. Of time making sure that the circle was quite right and like figuring out the actual structure yeah sure. um I'm, I'm a bit rubbish at structures um i just like decorating a thing so like yeah. if if i had that structure maybe sketched out or built in my head i probably would have had more time to do more detailing but um it was it was definitely a challenge i always i love a challenge especially when it comes to like like building building stuff so yeah. i was uh, you know, I'd, I had to have a little while to get back into Planko, so this was such a good challenge. Oh, this was such a good challenge. Like, despite <laughs> the time it, frame. I loved it, yeah. In fact, <laughs> like, I mean, it's almost like setting yourself homework in a way. It's like, yes, I'm going to do a speed build every week. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. like, it really does challenge you in different ways, like a speed build. If anybody else is, like, you know, wanting to, like, level up or, you know, like, test themselves in mm -hmm. that way, like, it's just saying, like, yeah, that hour timer. And, oh, my God, does it go by like that? Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, my God, it was a really good challenge. Movement. Well, it watching was great. Uh, you guys practicing for Games in a Snap, uh, was was yeah just like you just develop like watching poet practicing and getting things prepared it's like you, you get so much better at building quickly in there mm. yeah it's uh, it's quite quite Thanks impressive in a snap. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was so much fun <laughs> yeah that's that's intense I don't think I'm prepared for that yet oh you oh you so are though <laughs> you are you are there my friends you are baked and ready to go no, for games in a snap you're too <laughs> kind so uh, final question are you mini heather happy with your final build oh i so am oh, of course <laughs> Good. i am Good i mean it's not perfect but like ultimately i had so much fun 
like with with my chat in there mm -hmm. with like with you setting the challenge and even this conversation i just i had a great time building it and like i have a nice time looking at it and going oh that was a nice that was such <laughs> a good challenge like yeah. challenges don't have to be perfect you know you're up against the clock so i guess it's just like a good test of like your own skill and like mm -hmm. seeing how much you can do you know which i don't think is ever a bad thing so yeah. i love the result no matter what no i think you should be extremely proud i think it looks really nice it's really, oh, thank you. really lovely build. So before we wrap up and watch your lovely cinematics, uh, can you tell us where to find you on Twitch? Yeah, of course. Uh, you can find me um, on Twitch at uh, Mini Heather. Um, I stream Monday evenings and Thursday evenings with the loveliest of chillest of vibes. Um, so come and find me. Um, I'm on Instagram as well at Mini Heather. So um, yeah, come, come and find us. Come join the good nice. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Moobin. It's such a such a pleasure. <laughs>